Hello, type to here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to divide a circle into equal parts in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I've just created a new Illustrator document. And let's say that we actually want to create a circle and divide it into equal parts. We can actually do that in a few easy steps. So the first thing we want to do is to create our circle. And we can do that if we go over to the toolbar in the left side of the screen and choose the rectangle tool and just right click on it. We will get all of these different options. From here you want to choose the ellipse tool right here. The keyboard shortcut for that is L. And when that's selected, you just want to go over to your artboard, hold down Shift and Alt while dragging up, and we'll now create a perfect circle, just like this. From here, we want to decide how we would like to divide our circle. And in this example, I would like to divide it in four different parts. Maybe you want to divide it into, let's say, six or eight parts. You can also do that. So when we have decided how many parts we would like to divide the shape in, we can actually go over to the toolbar again and choose the line segment tool. And now we want to actually draw a line through our circle. So let's just start with the top right here. Click and just drag down. And you can also hold down shift to make it a straight line just like this. And we have now created a line that goes through our circle. Let's just create a line again, but instead of vertical, we'll now be creating this horizontal, just like this. And if I now select the circle and the two lines that I've just created, you can see that it now looks like it is divided into four different parts. And now actually all we have to do is to go over to the toolbar again and we want to find this tool called the shape builder tool which is a really useful tool you can also use the keyboard shortcut shift m to select it and when that is selected we actually just want to go over to our circle again and if we now try to hover over them we can see that we'll now get these four different parts of our circle and all we actually have to do is just click on all of them. Just like this. And you can see that we have this plus icon right here with the shape builder tool. And that means that we are adding shapes. But if we just hold down alt, it is now a minus. And that means that we can now remove these parts of the line right here. So if I just drag over them, you can see that they are now gone. We can also do it right here and here, just like this. And let's just give this circle a color again. And you cannot see this right now, but if we try to select the circle again, we can see that it is now actually divided into different parts. So we can actually just select any part we would like to change. So let's just select the first part here. Let's say we want to change the color just do that just like this we can also move some of the parts so i can just select this and let's just move it out a bit to create some kind of diagram you can also do this with this one so yeah you get the idea we have now turned this circle and divided it into equal parts thank you so much for watching I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.